Hi, this is Adorable Andrew, and this is my first ever Let's Play series. I decided that I wanted to give this a try, because it seemed like a lot of fun to me. And the game that I'm playing is Sandora no Daiboken, Warukyure to no Deai, uh, which, you know, roughly translates into Sandra's Big Adventure or Epic Adventure. I remember this game being kind of frustrating, and I never got far in it, so I thought it might make for some pretty good fodder. Um, starts with kind of some storyline. I'm not sure what it's about. Uh, there's some kind of eruption that causes the world to be covered in snow, which right off the bat kind of sounds weird. Anyway, I'm not really going to bother getting into the storyline, because I know that it's just an action game anyway. So I'm going to have to try to do these videos in 10 minute increments, which could be interesting. But because I want to release them for YouTube, that's kind of what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to just try and figure out the buttons here. I'm not sure what they all do. Uh, looks like... Attack, jump, some kind of charged jump. And that's about it. So just three buttons, which should be easy enough. Oh! Dang. Okay, I guess you die in one hit, so you don't have any life. Well, that kind of makes things difficult now, doesn't it? Some kind of slime creature. I have to do some kind of charge jump to get up here. I think that's kind of what frustrated me about the, this game in the first place, is all these little charge jumps that you gotta do. Why am I beating up on people, and, and what exactly am I, this little green guy? Well, one one thing I can say about this game, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun, I'm enjoying it. Uh, he basically just told me to go and see the sage. Yeah, in case you hadn't noticed, I understand Japanese, which is why I'm playing this game in, in Japanese. Um... Where am I supposed to get- oh! What? Hey, that's no fair! He came from behind! Okay, I pretty much suck at this. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see how, how well I do in, in, in these coming weeks here. Or coming days, as the case may be. I guess it's not as easy as it, as it looks. It's an action game, but... Man, all these cavemen. What are they doing here? Get out of the way! Oh! That wasn't even fair! He has way too large of a hit detection. Uh, what's, what's the point of having two jump buttons? I, I don't really understand that yet. Why is one like a big charged jump and, and the other just like a normal jump. Why do we need two of them? Like, obviously there are higher platforms to get up to, but why not just have one jump button? Well, at least at least they didn't assign the charge jump and the normal jump to one button. That would have been really annoying. There's some kind of ju jump spinny attack there, too. That's kind of cool. So I'm hoping these levels aren't overly long. Because otherwise I'm in a lot of trouble. I wonder if there's some kind of menu or item system to this game. Looks like you're supposed to collect yellow orbs of some kind. Oh, there he is again from behind. I got him this time though. Uh, so how's this? Oh, okay, there we go. Cavemen, cavemen, cavemen everywhere. I guess it's just kind of the default bad guy in this game. Some kind of flying creature there. Uh, it says Mysterious Forest up ahead. Mysterious Forest, eh? Was that the first level then? Uh-oh. What am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to jump in the water? I guess I am. Okay. That works for me. I was worried that this green whatever it is couldn't swim. 
What is that? Okay. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh! The alligator got me. Or is it a crocodile? I don't really know the difference. Someone's gonna have to help me with that. Since this is a less play, I might be making a lot of mistakes and dying and hopefully I'm hoping that I can continue from from certain points, but we'll we'll have to find out. Man, you gotta jump Oh man! That's no fair. And what's with that shiny horse in the background? Yeah, I mean this game kinda gets hard fast. Well, either that or it's it's really easy and I'm just not used to it yet. Those alligators. You gotta jump over them. It's just not fit. Oh, come on. Did you see that? I wasn't that close. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sucking at this. Oh, what? What was that? Oh, okay. I guess it isn't just three buttons. You can do some kind of crazy flying propeller attack thingy. That, that might make things a little easier. Although it seems that your character knocks himself, himself unconscious after doing it. So that could be dangerous. Depending on where you do it and when you do it. Let's see if it works here. No, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to find a way to jump over those crocodiles. I wasn't expecting to... Uh, wasn't expecting the second level to be this difficult. I, I probably just really suck at this. Uh, I died. Let's see if I can uh, continue from, from some point or another here. Otherwise, you might be watching me do this for a very, very, very long time, which may not be all that uh, all that fun. Hey, that was a rather dramatic ending. Se oh, password. Password systems. Hey, I'm not... I'm not excited about that. Let's see if we can just continue from where we were. Well, sure enough. Hopefully there's unlimited continues then. Still not sure what the deal with that sparkly thing is. Sparkly statue pouring water into... What would you call this? A river, I guess? Ah, oh, frickin' alligator. Or crocodile, depending on... It's frickin' blue, though. I mean, you can't really tell. Well, we're just past the nine minute mark here, so I believe I will stop the game right here and we'll continue next time.